Welcome to the AMC News Dispatch. I'm Frederick Poole of the Public and Congressional Affairs Office. Recently, the Expeditionary Contracting Command's 412th Contracting Support Brigade conducted its first contingency contracting exercise, Operation Bold Impact at Fort Riley, Kansas. Operation Bold Impact focused on contracting and warrior skills training to better prepare contracting officers who deploy to support Joint Contracting Command. Many units were involved in Operation Bold Impact, such as 901st and 902nd Contingency Contracting Teams, as well as the 412th and 410th Contracting Support Brigade. The Warriors' training reinforced the Warriors' ethos and improved each soldier's ability to survive on the battlefield. Soldiers participated in drills that centered on their marksmanship and combat scenarios. Contracting skills gave soldiers a refresher on various situations, including procurement of commodities, as well as minor construction. A contracting officer is no different from any other soldier in the Army. Uh, we have to learn the same basic skills, the word of training tasks that every soldier in the Army is required to learn. The significance of it is that, that we're giving these soldiers uh, critical skills training, individual skills that will enable them to better survive what happens on the battlefield. Without this training, you send soldiers into harm's way that aren't familiar with how to do first aid and what happens inside of a vehicle or when it rolls over. We make sure that our contracting officers that are deploying have the same prerequisite skills that every soldier in the Army has. We need our soldiers to be able to travel in convoys and react to the different missions that occur during convoy operations. Well, we'd love to have it more frequently than we do, but the honest answer is we can really only afford to do this probably about once a year. Uh, about once a year is when we get a large group of soldiers at one time deploying. Uh, and so we try to take that opportunity to uh, bring all these two guys together and train. Uh, what we're looking towards is uh, next year we're going to try to bring the National Guard or the Army Reserves in to train with us. Uh, the Air Force is asking us if they can bring some of their soldiers that are going to be over, or airmen, I guess. Uh, and so the Air Force is going to bring their airmen in, and they're going to train with us, and we'll bring it up even larger. We need our contracting officers to be as skilled in their core competencies, which is uh, the procurement piece of what we do. So what we're looking for out of this training is a well-rounded, contingency contracting officer that can go any place, anytime, anywhere, and conduct this mission and be the same as any other soldier in the Army. The 51 Charlies, uh, especially the enlisted soldiers, for them to be fully accepted and recognized in, in the capacity as contracting experts that, that, that they are and, and those that, that are joining that MOS will become, uh, they've got to continue to be expert in their craft just like everybody else does. You know. The next training date for Operation Bold Impact is to be determined, but plans are to continue to improve it and further collaborate with other military branches to enhance our contingency contracting officers' training experience. I'm Frederick Poole from the Army Contracting Command, and this concludes this edition of the AMC News Dispatch. Don't forget to visit the AMC website, www.amc dot army dot mail and click on the news and information link for the latest items and interests about the Army Material Command. For information on the Army Contracted Command, visit our website at www.acc.army.mil. Thank you for watching.